Hey, I'm back with Naomi. We are now covering Ripple, and um, I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, Naomi with a little question, but she probably won't even know. So I want you to guess, is Ripple a first-generation crypto or a second-generation crypto? Second. No, it's actually first generation because you cannot create your own coin on the Ripple blockchain and you can't create smart contracts with Ripple. Ripple is basically just like Bitcoin, but it's more centralized. Do you know the difference between decentralized? I swear, if my, if my ex-boyfriend heard, heard me not know this shit, he would come to Miami and kick my ass. No, it's okay. Because when we get to the 10th coin, you're going to know, like the question It's funny, but as we were doing this like video series, when we get to the 10th coin, you're going to answer, you're going to be able to answer most of these questions or I'm a, I'm a bad teacher. So don't worry because what's funny, it's going to get really repetitive after we go through the top 10. <laughs> There's only two generations of coins, first generation and second. So. Okay. So, so how can you tell the difference? So Ripple is like Bitcoin because it's just a currency. So it's just a store of value that you send across the blockchain. There's no smart contracts and there's no, it's uh, basically when you can create your own coin on Ethereum, it's called the ERC20 token. There's no Ripple tokens. You can't create a Cena coin on the Ripple blockchain. Does that make sense? Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So basically it's a Bitcoin okay. copycat, not to be mean, but the reason why it's number three it's because it's set it's more centralized and it's more bank friendly because bitcoin is decentralized that means you don't really have control if someone steals your bitcoin you can't go into the Bit bitcoin blockchain and get that bitcoin back with ripple it, it has a lot more control mechanisms where if there is some sort of fraud or whatever the people that basically created ripple they have a lot more control of ripple's network does that make sense? Hmm. And it's more open. It's easier yeah. to tell who's using Ripple. It's just government friendly. Governments like Ripple. Banks like Ripple because it's very transparent. It's easily controlled. Like banking right now is super controlled. Right? Like at Bank of America, you do any kind of fraud. It's like very easy for Bank of America to like reverse it and try to fix it. Right. And to, to trace whoever yeah. committed the fraud. Ripple is trying to be like that. And it's being more because we have an issue where right now, if you want to send us dollars or any kind of currency, it's very, very slow. And it costs a lot of money where Ripple is super duper fast and it's super duper cheap. So, and, and for a while, cause Bitcoin used to be very slow and very expensive. That's why Ripple was so attractive. R Ripple, because there's not as many people using Ripple too. Um, it's just, it was, it was cheaper to send money. You could get it faster. And like I said, a lot of big companies are partnering with Ripple because, you know, R Ripple is the teacher's pet of crypto. Does that make sense? And yeah. so that's why, like, it's funny when you post on your channel, if there are people on crypto, people always bash Ripple. People will be like, why the fuck are you co covering? Oh, see, I use the F word. People are really going to be like, why are you talking about Ripple? No, there's like a group of people that really like Ripple and there's a group of people that don't like Ripple. So that's Ripple in a heart a heartbeat. But anyways, we're going to go to the next coin. Thank you very much for watching.